Hey all, it's Tom. Um, some of you might remember, I used to do uh, reviews for black and white fire starters. Um, well, quite a while back, but I, I stopped doing them because of the neck and everything else, and I you know, couldn't get out here to do them and whatnot. So anyway, I got a hold of Paul and said to him, you know, well, now that the neck is straightened out, whatever. And he's like, yeah, sure. Pardon me. So, what he said to me is, uh, is this block here. Now, a couple different things with it. It's fat wood. You know, that uh, black and white fire starter wood that Paul makes. It's also thick jute thread, and there's a lot of it on it. Not sure how many feet, but it's probably three or four foot of it on it. Plus, you get the ferro rod with it. This is one unit. And then, I don't know if this is an accessory or something you could buy separate. But then you get this little guy here. He's probably got three, four foot of jute twine on. And a little block of uh, Sherpa wood. That's what it's called, Sherpa wood. So, what you do with this, if you just take this and you fluff these up, Now this works like that, uh, what do they call it, the fire straw or something like that, where you, you, you have the wick out when you're done with it, you pull it back in the straw to snuff it out. This works like that, let me get this fluffed up a lot here. Now that's one thing with this, you do have to fluff it up by hand, it doesn't fluff itself. So. Now you might have seen a couple of these around. Cal's Trex and Trail did a review on one not too long ago. So what I'm going to do... Is I'm going to pull that back into there like that. Okay? Let's see if I can get you down here just a little bit farther so you can... See what we got here. I'm trying to keep you in frame here. I can't lift that arm too far still. And there we go. Now, of course, you shaved the block of fat wood off of here. And you would put that on the fat wood, and then when you're done with it, he's out. Twist it back out like so. Then you're ready to fire it up again. And there it goes again. So it's a, it's a good little piece. I mean, that that's the second time of burning on them whips right there. Now this is heavy wax jute. And basically, like I said, all you have to really do is just fluff it up real good with your fingers on the end. Get it set in a certain way, you know. That's the third burning. You can get a lot of use out of this. I mean, if you can't light a fire with that, there's something going on. Especially if you shave off this lighter wood. Got a 
pull it back inside. You just see me try to blow it out. I didn't blow out all that easy. So, now, Paul has a store on Etsy. It's called Mr. Outdoorsy, or Black and White Fire Starters. I found it by either. And, uh, go over to Etsy and, you know, take a look at these, because I got three burns out of that, you know, first little, first little inch or so. There's three or four foot on there, and you can do that. I mean, you kind of get a lot for your money. Now, even though this is all fat wood, I mean, if I was going to use it, I'd only shave off from the bottom. Because once you shave this down so far, I mean, you're going to ruin your tool here. So, but yeah, Paul has a store over on Etsy. Um, you can either look them up under Black and White Fire Starters or Mr. Outdoorsy. Uh, if not, you can find them on Facebook under Black and White Fire Starters. And unfortunately, I do not have his numbers and stuff here. I don't know what I did with them. But, great piece of kit. It's kind of bulky, yes, but if you put it in your backpack or whatever, you know, you got your ferro rod, you got your tinder, and you got a tinder source again. So you have two different forms of tinder and a ferro rod for that little piece. Or if that's not something that enthuses you, I mean, you still have, you know, the little block of cute twine. Let me unwrap this here. We'll see. Uh, But this is a thinner cute twine than the other one. So we'll see what happens. There you go. Let's see if we can. Now, me, I put it right down by the front there and hold it right in front of the ferro rod. There you go. It was just that fast. So, as long as you have your own ferro rod, this would be a good source of tinder to carry with you. And don't forget about the other products the Hornets, the Super Hornets. You know, he's got a myriad of products over there. Um. The favorite of everybody seems to be the wax cotton balls. They burn forever. So, this is Tom. Well, thank you for your time and your, your patience. Uh, once again, we'll be probably doing some black and white fire starters in the future. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed. And share the video out. And we will see you guys on the next one.